If you are working as part of a team and need to have an Xcode project generated for you, you have a number of options when working with Bazel. First, you can use Tulsi. Tulsi is a project that works with Bazel and generates your Xcode project for you. This app is in beta but is used within Google itself. Another option is to use one of the rule sets provided by the community. There are various rule sets developed by various companies who have already adopted Bazel and were kind enough to share their solutions. Some examples are Xhammer, Rules iOS, and Rules Xcode Proj. All these projects have some benefits and downsides to each of them, but they all have one single goal in common. Make it easier to use all the power of Bazel inside of Xcode. Let's use Rules Xcode Proj to generate our Xcode project. To get started, we're going to have the Xcode Proj rules generate our Xcode project. First, navigate to your project files. Navigate into your iOS folder, find your Xcode project, and delete it. Since we aren't building remotely, open up your Bazel RC file and delete all the remote configurations. Now to add our Xcode Proj rules to our workspace. Open up your workspace file. First, we'll need to download the rule set. Add the following to your workspace. Next, we'll load the rules, exposing the Xcode Proj rules dependency function. Then we'll call the function. And that's all it takes. Next, we'll update our build file. Open up the build file for the Bullseye iOS project. First, we'll load in our rules. Now we need to add a new target. Add the following. Open up your terminal application. Run the following command. This is the target that will generate the actual project. We can then open the generated Xcode project and build it in Xcode. By default, the project will build with the Xcode build system. As is, the rules Xcode Proj is moving toward a 1.0 release. With that release, it will support all core C, C++, Objective-C, and both Apple and Swift Bazel rules. Better still, you'll be able to build specific Bazel targets in Xcode using Bazel itself, exactly like the Android Studio plugin. If you want to see this in action, Download the Point 3.0 preview whereby there is initial support for building with Bazel inside of Xcode. For more information, check out the documentation for Rules Xcode Proj.